Preston Physics, Grade 11, Forces, Note 8, Newton's Third Law. Newton's Third Law is the hardest one to understand, and it involves a lot of thinking and kind of reasoning. But imagine we have two objects, object A and object B. Now object B is being pushed by object A, but object A is also being pushed by object B. So what Newton's third law says is if object A applies a force to object B, then object B is applying an equal force but in the opposite direction to object A. I'm going to use some examples to try to explain this a little better. It's a very hard concept to understand. The first example we're going to look at with Newton's third law is a man out in space that is throwing a wrench. Now we've got our little spaceman and he's in his suit and we've got him throwing a wrench. So he's applying a force to the wrench that's moving from left to right. But the wrench is also applying a force on the guy of equal force. Now because they're in space, the wrench is going to have a lot greater acceleration because it has far less mass. The man's just going to have a little bit of acceleration. The forces are the same size, but the acceleration that's caused by the forces is a lot different on each object due to the mass of the object that it's being applied to. Now the second example we're going to look at is a rocket taking off. Now this one's a little bit harder to kind of picture. We have our rocket and it's blasting off. It's pushing all these particles down. So we have the force of the rocket on all these little particles. But then to counter that out, all the little particles then have to push the rocket back. But because the rocket is pushing so many particles, they're being accelerated extremely quick with that little force kind of that's being pushed back on the rocket. But all of those particles are pushing up, so there's a lot more force being actually acted on the rocket, and the acceleration again is going to be smaller. But these particles are pushing that rocket up. The last example is just walking. If you think of a person walking along, this one's kind of hard to understand, but if we didn't have friction, so we push down on the ground, if we didn't have friction of the ground pushing back down on us, when we were walking, we would just walk in one spot. As we push on the ground, we push backwards. The ground actually pushes back on us forwards so that we can move forward. If it didn't, we would just be stationary. It would be like walking on ice almost, but extremely slippery ice where we can never get any traction. So we're just kind of in a standstill the whole time. Try to explain the wagon problem at the bottom of your page yourself, and we're going to discuss it tomorrow in class. The questions associated with this note are 30 to 34 in your yellow duotank.